Hey yo everyone, welcome to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out the Terraria 1.4 Vanity Contest submissions. You know, we're gonna run through a bunch of them, state my opinion on some of them, and you know, looking at this banner right here, unless these are a bunch of vanities combined, some of these vanities look new. That or I've just straight up never seen them. Like this one, what the heck is this one? This one too, the, my boy got a big jacket looking like Yeezy out here. But yeah, at the end of this video, I will show you guys my contest submission. Mission. I don't think I'm gonna submit it directly, but someone can submit it for me, I guess. But yeah, let's start going through the first post. The first post that is here on the Turi 1.4 Vanity Contest submission, right here. Big Cat. Let's see it. Big Cat. So basically, it's a lion costume. It has a tail, mane, and ears. It also has a lot of hair. Okay, I could get down with this one. Sort of like the lion from The Wizard of Oz. I can get behind it. Next up, we have this dude with a sword. Cool. <laughs> now, we're seeing a lot that are drawings. And I know some people don't know how to sprite. But, you know, I prefer the ones that are sprited like this. Even if they aren't the greatest in my opinion. You know, I still prefer a sprite. Oh, here we go. Uh, a tree person. This actually wouldn't be too bad as a vanity. Oh, here we go. We got our first like actual sprite one. Garb of Requiem or Rakim. Uh, this looks cool. It's a little small, but you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit. We got uh, this one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, here we go. We got a we got an illustration, a drawing, and we have the sprite. Now this, this alone, you get points just for all the effort you put in here. It looks great. Now I'm hoping when they do the vanity contest, they choose multiple submissions. I think they are, but you never know. You never know. If they only choose one, this can be kind of upsetting. I hope they choose a handful because some of these are great this one right here it's a plantera plantera already has a mask in the game but you know i i can see the idea okay this one looks like some furry shit we're gonna ignore that oh speak about furry shit we're gonna ignore that oh yes the crocodile suit i can get behind a crocodile suit honestly anything where you're putting the player in a suit they're great this is cool kind of looking like raiden from uh, mortal kombat is this another cat outfit we got one of those already the same that we have a bee outfit <laughs> maybe not a whole entire outfit but we got we have a majority of it uh red devil outfit okay i can get behind that let's get into like some of the crazy stuff though let me look around a bit it's like when you see a drawn one that's just you know poorly drawn no offense to the creators they probably can do better than me but you see a drawn one and then you come to one like this where everything is nicely presented like look at this dude even got like vines and stuff right here in the pre presentation he's got examples with hairs like come on this is amazing you saw the last one and then you scroll down to this one the pothead a pot for the head it's like come on bro i i can still get down with the pothead though i like that this is a good one uh bro moment sound effect too okay we got the demogorgon here that's very cool <laughs> we got the boy doug Dimmodome, owner of the dimsdale Dimmodome, father of dale Dimmodome, heir of the dimsdale Dimmodome fortune of course this is amazing another cool armor set right here i like this a hella fella okay we got a dude wearing a mushroom hat and he stole the dryad's clothes i can get down with it though because of the mushroom hat look at this another great presentation here we got the real clothes we got him in another art style and then we got him in terraria another great thing right here look at this like some of these are really really amazing fucking ronald mcdonald i fricked your mom yeah probably not good to name it after that and i'm also pretty sure you're not allowed to do things that have already been done in real life you know what i mean like you're not able to steal another character's outfit and put it in the game even though terraria itself has a lot of references I, I don't know why they don't allow people to just put more references in the game i feel like you gotta dig through my bad if i sound mean here the quote-unquote trash and filler to get down to stuff like this where you know actual spriting artists are able to thrive and i feel like out of all the contest submissions i feel like they'll probably what the fuck is this i feel like there'll be like one or two that are like actually drawings and the rest of them are all gonna be by people who actually know how to sprite and stuff it's like, bro, what a... What am I looking at? This is like the Terraria fan wiki. Like, even if this right here isn't the greatest idea, it's, it's actually really funny and I like it. But even right here, if this isn't the greatest idea and doesn't fit in exactly, it still looks amazing because it's sprited and it looks amazing. The, the spriter behind it is great. His name is Pencil Lover. He wants a pencil in the game. It makes sense. See, now this, I like this. I want this in the game. This would be nice. Some of y'all can rock this. Some of y'all rock this on a daily basis and you don't even know it. Memes aside, I can get down with Sans being in the game, but that is a character that's already a, a thing and i don't think they're allowing any of that got a hazmat suit you know makes sense with the current things going on gotta stay away from the rona and then you gotta do the fucking toaster on his head <laughs> i can get down with this i could also get down with a forager set you know forager and terraria they've done some things together <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. They should put this in Terraria. Come on. I'm, I'm gonna save this image. The idea behind this, the fact that you can put the mask on. Look, he has all the pictures on the side here. You put the mask on, you're just wearing the mask. You put the bottom half, you know, you get in position and everything. The only problem with this I can see is obviously animations with weapons and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe make it a vanity where you don't attack or anything. You can't do anything other than just walk around and jump and stuff like that. The thing is, it's, outside, it's thinking outside of the box and that's what makes it a great submission. What in the hell is this? Is this an Arizona green tea hoodie? Come on, bro. <laughs> Furry's gonna go crazy with this outfit. Watch out, bunnies. You know, this one right here, very fitting of the current time we're going through. Found another hazmat suit. This is like the seventh one I've seen. <laughs> I can get I can get with this Oscar the Grouch vanity. Sonic, yeah, this is this Sonic's fucking ugly. Look at this. We got a nice Half-Life outfit here with the uh, the Hev armor or HEV armor. Head crab, that's pretty cool. Gotta be my favorite so far. Just a bald dude wearing a hoodie. Ew, what is this? Mimic Conjurer set. Ew. <laughs> this is one of the ones that uh, I would prefer not have, have a drawing, but it still looks cool. I like it, but uh, it's, it's on the ill side. Here we go. We got a, a buff suit for those who want giant muscles. Yes. <laughs> we got a space suit. This is a nice, simple thing. I could easily see this being in Terraria. There might already be one, unless I'm thinking of the, the Halloween. Was it skeleton that wears a space suit? Panda. This is a very swole panda. God damn. This is like a, a spy and a pyro mixed together. Uh, it looks very cool. I'd like to see that too. That's very nice. It's fucking barney <laughs> so there's around 200 pages of submissions here and i feel like you can just straight up post some bullshit and nobody would notice oh look another plague doctor is like the sixth one i've seen but yeah you could post some straight up bs not even try and you know it probably wouldn't get taken down because there's so many posts that i don't think moderators are gonna go through all of them hey i could really get down with these animal sets in terraria you know there's some in starbound i don't think they're full animal sets but there's like animal heads but like no bestiality no furry shit aside i feel like full animal sets though these things look funny like this horse set and the gorilla set they look amazing the, the penguin set too or penguin set that thing looks amazing too in game we got another space suit i do like this one better than the last these do put rick astley and then he put never gonna give you up i'm gonna get out of there before i get a copyright we got fucking solaire or just a crusader okay see this is another thing where the presentation is amazing desert dancer you got the drawings you got the sprites it's beautiful just off of the effort alone i feel like they should make it off of the effort alone i feel like he should make it this one's very tiny i'm gonna have to zoom in on the video i'd like to submit a hula dancer vanity very very nice and simple this dude just submitted solar flare armor all right here we go here's another cool presentation i can't really tell what's up with the vanity i feel like the sprite itself is not shaded enough or in certain areas the colors are a little bit off the paladin's a little bit off but the presentation alone again is just so good i think that they should give it a thought you know look at it a little bit and be like you know what this could be the one all i'm saying is if you know how to sprite even a little bit if you know how to sprite a a little bit you may have a bigger advantage than others like here we go again amazing just because of the presentation you're just here on the vanity contest submissions you're scrolling down and then you see this motherfucker <laughs> so i've just been scrolling through going through each page you know let me go through one more page here and there's been some decent ones in here but there has been a lot of filler that are you know they're okay but i feel like a little bit more effort can be put in in a lot of these but let's go ahead let's do one more page one more page and then i'm gonna try and skip through uh i'm gonna try and skip through really far ahead lobster outfit i can get behind it again another animal suit you're hopping in or crustacean oh shit right here we got to something amazing wacky inflatable rex see that's good that i went through one more this is amazing but yeah let's go ahead let's do some big numbers i'm gonna just do straight up 277 what is the latest stuff that is being submitted here okay not bad not bad nothing too crazy nothing that stands out to me we're gonna go backwards from the latest stuff this very cool and other great presentation like I'm telling y'all, these people that do stuff like this, they're gonna have the advantage over a lot of you that are just drawing stuff. Might be a little bit unfair, but like, what can you say, man? It looks great. What am I looking at here? <laughs> Holy shit. Boom, look at this. Lightwave Guardian. Nice, I like that. Another Plague Doctor. Another Hazmat Suit. We got the Sky Guardian set. Now, I'm pretty sure these are all just gonna be vanity. So, people that are doing stuff like this, you know, giving it like percentages for drops. I mean, I guess if it is vanity, you could have a drop too. But, they did say that these are vanity right so there's no way that an actual like armor set is gonna get in oh nice we got a chroma key suit very practical got a nice little pokemon trainer vanity i like that with the hat backwards very good detail oh my this this is just dope this is 
outside of the box thinking right here you know i love the hat floor what was that floor it floor it protector set floor a this is just cool i don't know what game it's from oh here we go bloom is the commander of the space miner vessel zephyrus no i don't know if that's a game or not i just read that she's deeply in love with this land i i like it a lot we got a uh, a blood you know bloods in the crypts which are just gang members out here what is this this dude this dude sprited his thing doesn't really look like a terraria sprite but he drew it he sprited it and then he added added in a bunch of weapons okay i see you some of these weapons look cool but like i don't think they're even gonna think twice about looking at that shit <laughs> Okay, here we go. This I, I see the potential here. Hollowed. We got the rainbow guy with the big eyeball. Hell, we got the dragon. Glowing mushroom. He's literally a mushroom. Ocean. Yeah, I see my boy. He's wearing those fucking sunglasses a little too far down on his face. Corrupt. I, I don't know what that is. I would have put like Trump or some shit. Jungle. Okay, we got the Tarzan fit. Underground. He's a rock with a mining helmet and forest. What is that? An ant? Look at this. Clout set. Now, I don't think I would want this in it because I don't think it's that great of, my, great of an idea. But presentation looks good the sprites look good i can see it maybe if one of the terraria devs are like you know i'm feeling a little swaggy today <laughs> i like the idea behind this you know the palette and the uh, shading is a little bit off doesn't really feel like terraria style but this still would be a funny thing to have in the game i see this this is very very nice we got another uh, crusader a templar my boy solaire i've seen a lot of these scrolling through the scrolling through a bunch of pages this dude dragon lord armor he made his own goddamn dragon to put in okay we got a frog outfit here looks like he got Got shot in the head <laughs> is that a is that a roblox vanity this dude he put a, uh, a lego okay what is this is this toilet paper what is, is a bandit survival kit oh yes here we go this is what some of y'all look like so we need this vanity so you can be yourself in game he's a very cool one i'd like to see the sprites of this but it's still very cool my boy got a kendama stick right there on his back he got a he got a, a hat <laughs> He's got a helmet, he's got yo-yos, he's got spin tops, like look at this, this is very cool. I would really like to see a sprite of this stuff. Wild mage, I like this, very unique. This guy just put a picture of the guide, okay. Oh yes, this is what we need right here, we need a gnome set. Now I wonder how the uh, the devs or whoever is doing it is gonna look through all this stuff. And oh, we got another, this looks more furry than it does an animal. But I wonder how they're gonna look through all this stuff. Um, Are they gonna, you know, actually look through every single page or what? Or are they just gonna, like, I don't know. Know, sort by top voted oh this is amazing <laughs> whose idea was this the boy the boy i love your creativity this is like one of those halloween costumes but yeah i wonder if they're gonna actually look through everything one by one probably not or this is very cool or if they're just gonna sort by top voted or most thumbed up or whatever the hell you do on here most liked and choose stuff like that i don't know how it's gonna work i guess we will see soon when 1.4 comes out oh okay at least he has a sprite for it all right i don't know how long the video is but i feel like i've been looking at pages for like 30 minutes we saw some good ones we saw some good ones here we saw some bad ones we saw ones with great looks presentation wise and then we seen some which is great potential to be in the game we'll see i don't know when this contest ends or when the cutoff date is this dude just posted a picture of every vanity set that's already in the game okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um my boy grease monkey see you next time Bye bye